Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial by the Blender Animations. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a, a snowman. So we're going to want to delete this default cube by pressing the delete key and then selecting OK. Then adding a new sphere. So we're going to go space add mesh UV sphere. And we're going to set the radius to 2. Now OK. Now that's about the size you want. Um, so you're going to press 1 on the number pad to look at the front. Now we're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. And in here we're going to add a further two um, spheres, which is then going to act as its torso and its head. So we're going to put the 3D cursor here, just above um, its lower body. And then press space to add another UV sphere. We're going to set this radius to 1. We're just going to scale it up a little bit about there. Okay, we're going to add one last sphere which is going to be its head. So click the 3D cursor above this second sphere and add UV sphere and OK. And we're going to scale this one down a little bit so that we have those three spheres there. Now you just want to move them to where they best fit. So that looks good there. Now we're going to add a modifier. So um, under this little panel here which looks like a little square with the four vertices selected um, you want to go to this modifiers area here and click add modifier and go up to subsurface now that will just smooth everything out by making additional faces between each face now it's going to look like that on the render because the render level is set to 2 um, usually the level that you actually look at is lower um, just to reduce lag of your computer so we've set this subsurface, and then additionally we're going to click set smooth here to just smooth everything out. Okay. So the next thing our snowman is going to need is going to be a hat. So we're going to click above the snowman's head, we're going to press space, and then add mesh, we're going to add a cylinder. Okay. Now we're going to go into the cylinder and use B to grab the bottom and pull the bottom up. And we're going to scale the whole thing down just um, about the size of the hat would be so yeah, about the size of the third of the way down his head that's pretty good there and I'll just want it to be a little bit taller okay so this is going to be a top hat so you're going to select the whole top of this cylinder then press E and then region to extrude the region and then you're going to right mouse click We'll put that extrusion down on, on top of where it originally was. Now from here we're going to scale it to about the size that the center of the top hat would be. So that would be about that big there. And then from the front view we're going to then extrude that out. Okay, so now we have your top hat. Now we're going to um, set smooth and add a subsurface modifier to this. Now going back into this you'll need to go control R and add a ring cut and pull and um, put the ring cut towards the top and bottom of each row of vertices. And that will just um, smooth everything out. Um, this top hat looks like it's on a little bit too perfectly so I'm just going to rotate it back a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, so now we're going to need to add a face to it. So I'm going to put the 3D cursor here. I'm going to add an eye with space and add mesh. I'm going to add a UV sphere. I'm going to change the radius to 0 0.1. And OK. You can see that you've got um, your sphere, but it's inside this other sphere. We're going to grab this green arrow here and drag it out. And that will give you your first eye. Now usually for eyes, people use like buttons and stuff like that. So um, rather than it actually being perfectly spherical, we're going to click this blue cube here, which is, which is scale manipulator. We're going to click that. We're going to pull the green arrow in, which will smooth that out and make it a lot shorter. So now we're going to um, just move this into the head um, by then clicking on this red arrow and dragging it back in. So um, 
you're going to need to add a second one but you want to get um, the lining up of the area right first so we want to have it about there and there um, so I'm going to duplicate it within the object so go tab to go into edit mode and shift D that will duplicate it and then right mouse click to cancel the move and then just drag it across with the red cursor now there are its eyes you can see that that area of the eye there is within the head so looking at it from above we're just going to rotate it and move it in now just press L when you're hovering over an object to select it and now you've got the eyes inside the head just going to rotate this on the x-axis just pull it out a little bit and there we go so now it's eyes and it's had it done so now we're going to need to add a nose so we press 3 to go to side view we're going to add mesh cylinder I'm going to leave the radius at 1. Okay, so you want the carrot to come out this way rather than up and down, so we're going to press R to rotate it. We're going to press X so that it will only rotate on the X axis. And we're going to press 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. Now this will make it be facing the right way. So then from here you can just scale it down and pull it into the face. So you want it to be between the eyes. Be about there. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and select the face for the um, the faces that are on the opposite side. You want to pull them away and then just scale them down. Okay, so now because um, carrots will usually have divots in it, I'm going to add a ring cut. Like that, so we'll add three of them in just a short row together. And you're going to hold down Alt and right mouse click on the nose and just sca scale that in just a little bit. And then you're going to do the same thing a little bit further down, except this time we'll scale it out. And just do this another two times going further down the nose. It's not an exact science to it, just do what you think looks better and more realistic. Okay, so there's the nose. And we're going to add a subsurface to that. There. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to do a ring cut and pull it up to either end. There you go, there's your nose. Also going to select set smooth, just smooth out those faces. Now from here we're going to add a mouth. Um, the mouth is usually made of small rocks, so we're going to add mesh. I'm going to add a cube. I'm just going to scale this down. We're just going to get the look right first. So we're going to add modifier and a subsurface. So we want this to look a little bit rocky, so we're going to just um, pull, we'll just move everything around so it looks a little bit more random. Now you'll mainly just be seeing this face here, so this is the face that you want to be changing the most. So that looks pretty good there. Now, I'm just going to drag this into the face. There. And I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. Just making the rough shape of what you want the smile to look like. Now, from here you'll just select um, each little rock and just rotate it by pressing R twice. And just rotate it on, on a different angle so that they all look different. There we go. And then now, it's going to drag these into um, 
the snowman's mouth where the mouth should be. Just going to make sure that each individual rock is going into the mouth. Um, so just grab each one and just pull it in. So that's looking pretty good there. So now you've got your eyes, your nose, your hat, and your mouth. That's your snowman. Um, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message.